Testing one, two, three. This will be a recording of the executive board meeting held on November 25th, St. Joseph's Infirmary, four o'clock, for the purpose of electing committees, standing committees for the year 1968-1969. St. Joseph's Infirmary in the Heavenly Father, bless us as we gather here together for this meeting. Bless our deliberation. Unite us in our efforts. Guide us in our decisions as we strive to meet the obligations of our profession. We thank thee for being with us throughout the year. Since Thanksgiving is coming, we ask you to uh, continue your graces upon us and we wish to return thanks to you for all you've been to us through the past year for this organization. We ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. stated the purpose of the meeting this afternoon and um, we will go, um, try to attend to all the matters on the uh, that is listed here the agenda calls for communication from the president and I don't particularly have any uh, communications to bring to you I did hear from some people that um, I didn't say enough, I wasn't very enlightening about the matter of the new business that we took up at our last meeting, and if there, if there is anyone here who wishes to, for me to elaborate a little bit more on it, I will try to do so. It was a matter of... Um, purpose of the special ad hoc committee and uh, the, the um, uh, action that is going on at the present time towards um, and setting up a registry. There's one uh, little item along those lines that I might uh, bring to you. It is a letter, not to us but to a private duty nurse, and uh, it states that uh, a few weeks ago you received a letter about the proposed community registry for private duty, private practice nursing, and related health services. The private duty nurse voted down this community registry proposed by the 5th District. In parentheses, we do not want to be grouped with LPNs, sitters, orderlies, homemakers, and so forth. End of parenthesis. We understand a community registry is being formed. A large number of responsible private duty nurses are interested in organizing a registry for pri registered private duty nurses to be controlled and operated by private duty nurses. There is a great need for a registry for professional nurses in order to serve the Atlanta metropolitan area. This registry is in no way related to the community registry you received information on several weeks ago. Would you be interested in helping organize such a registry? 
we feel that all nurses wish to be identified with a registry which would meet the needs of the community and the nurses. Membership in ANA, GSNA in the 5th District is optional. Do not come off the hospital call list at present. We would need a good number of nurses to start. Would you be willing to pay next year's dues, 1969, in December 1968, in order to have the necessary funds to start the registry? Propo proposed fee would be $50. Send no money now. We need a mailing list. Would you sign your name, address, zip code, and phone number below. Indicate if you are interested. Standards and qualifications for members will be developed and sent to you in the very near future. Plans would also be made for institutes and workshops for you to attend in order to update your knowledge and skills. We'll contact you after polling the nurses. Return to Mrs. Elizabeth Eden by December the 10th. And it's a space for the name, address, phone number, zip code, and so forth. Uh, by your direction, we did contact the lawyer today, and uh, she asked us to write the letter that you directed us to write and then bring it to her for her uh, comments and so forth. So we have written such a letter. It has not been back to her yet. I took it upon myself to, to write it. Would you uh, want it, would you want to uh, add to it? Would you want it to hear it or add to it? This is uh, to, and I didn't put who it's to, but it will be to the Director of the Nursing Service. They, Fulton County Medical Society and nursing homes and the other uses of private duty nurses and from me and President regarding the registry for private practitioners of nursing. The 5th District GSNA Nurses Professional Registry was closed August 1, 1968 because of insufficient funds to operate. This district GSNA feels a responsibility toward the community's nursing needs and has appointed a special committee to move toward helping establish a community registry to meet, insofar as possible, the needs for private practice nursing within the community. Registrants will be both graduate nurses, licensed practical nurses, and others who will perform in a limited degree and under supervision. Any other registry which is or may begin operating in the 5th District is not under the supervision of or endorsement by the 5th District GSNA. It is our hope that this proposed registry will be coordinated, well directed, and that the registrants and the community will profit by such a registry. And certainly I welcome anything the board might like to add or take to or change in any way even before we take it to the lawyer for her comments. Did you uh, include the Cab Medical Society? It will be on the top there. They are sent back. You send All of those allied yeah. medical groups, hospital administrators and so forth. And I, may I comment, mm -hmm. the lawyer did say it, is to say as little as we could, to be as brief and concise and not involved that it would make it much less uh, complicated and technical in detail. I think you did a <coughs> nice level. Yeah. So I'm sure. well, I, w I really would like for you to add to or take from or change in any way because I'm not the world's most gifted writer. Seems to cover the subject without saying too much. She may change it completely when we get to her. The, the idea her was that we're interested in a registry, but we're not now sponsoring or planning to sponsor a community registry. Is that? 
No, we are not. We are not supporting this that has been started by yeah. another group. Plus, we're still working toward the community registry. See, she's appointed a special committee to move toward helping to establish it. That's what she says in that first paragraph to meet the needs. And then in the next paragraph, any other registry other than that one that we're working on, the community one, which is or may begin operating in the 5th District is not under the supervision or, or, or endorsed by the 5th District and Georgia State Nurses Association. I think you've worded it so well that having listened on both sides and in so much of the comments on that, I feel that you've done it so well in there because you're not saying we're tattling on the other little group or private enterprise or anything like that. Either. No, uh -huh. or that would put you on the spot. No, thank you. Well, there's another thing that I suppose should come up in new business, but since we're talking about the registry, I think it might be well to bring it up at this time. Uh, along with this, as we were talking with the lawyer today, we brought up the matter of, of um, Bill Head. And uh, she thought that um, we should send a communication to them that they uh, must not use the name of Fifth District GSNA in any way in their bill head. Uh, in the, and they didn't in the letter, but uh, she said, even though we are not sure that they are using bill heads, we have reason to believe they are, uh, that it wouldn't hurt that we inform them that uh, they must not use them. But, we didn't do it at this time because we felt that it should be brought to the board for uh, whatever you wish to do about it. The first one they did and circulated, it printed by Mr. Brochaw, merely took the 5th District Professional Registry off the top and made what they said was a typographical error, 10 cents per mile in travel instead of seven. Now that was when it went up before. And this last one was printed after the registry closed, and it still contains at the top on that schedule of price for registered professional nurses as set by private duty section, 5th District Georgia State Nurses Association, Atlanta, Georgia, and then gives the zip code. And that one is being sold, and, and they, by Mr. Brochaw, he printed them, and his wife is selling them, and a number of the girls have referred them to the office there as uh, they have been more or less publicizing it as being available for any private duty nurse that wanted it. Ours has the seal on it that uh, our um, auditors told us to do when they were getting so many for Piedmont and it indicated they were in good standing with the 5th District Association, anybody passing out of state one. So the practical nurses and the, and the uh, RNs have that seal on the official ones that we had printed. And there was some debate about that, and it was brought before the Hancock uh, Insurance Company sometime before Ms. Armstrong went in office when that first happened in 1966. And they were, there was a question as to whether they would honor those statements, uh, unless they were fixed. Do you wish to, uh, to direct us to do anything about that? move that we write a letter to the private duty section stating that they are not to use the 5th district title in any of their billheads or is that what you want? I mean, that's, that's right. Not to use it on their billheads, would they use it on anything else? Not to change your wording, but yeah. do you mean the section? Well, how, uh, who else would you send it to? You mean the president of the private duty section, I mean the chairman, or there's no longer a registry committee. 
Well, actually, the section is still a member of the district. Yeah. Though, and that's not mm-hmm. where all the status yeah. is private duty. How are you going to stand it down? Private duty nurses. Private, private duty think. nurses. Well, you mean individually? Or how would we get it to the, the, I know the chairman of the section? Well, Says that's what we were trying right to the line. Even this actually pertains to their registry, doesn't it? To me, it's... They still have a section, though, don't yes. they? do, and that's a member of the 5th District. To me, the person who is using this mm-hmm. is the private duty nurse. That's, that's yeah. that's and and it would true. seem then that this, should, if we're going to do it, that this should go to the private duty nurse. The, der- the nurse who is doing private practice of nursing. How many That's numbers do we have? Uh, 268, private. I think. What about the people who are selling these bills then? Why don't we leave it Why? up to the lawyers to what it we should, should do? do. It should go yes, to it. it should be directed. That the, just permission that a letter be written regarding bill heads and the use of the 5th District on any communication as uh, advised by the lawyer. <coughs> be written regarding the use of the district's name on bill heads or other matters uh, by the private duty nurse. Yes, question. Uh, <coughs> if they left the fifth district off their bill head and put private duty section, um, would that still be inappropriate? Mm-hmm. It would seem to me that Im- that implies GS and A private duty mm-hmm. section fifth district. Yes, that's other thing. Well, if you want to change that word, she's she's bringing out the point on something else. Yeah, on yeah, y'all go ahead. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, any other discussion? And I'm supposed to repeat the motion <laughs> of the motion to write a letter regarding the, the use of the name on letters and bill heads. Please, all those in favor of writing the letter, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Carol. The other thing, when Carolyn read this letter, I don't, I don't know why, I just in, in the same paragraph, you're talking about this registry that someone else could be organizing, any other registry that we are not endorsing. It. And then in the same paragraph, you say, it is our hope that this proposed registry will be coordinated well directed, etc. Uh, could, uh, could it say, it's our hope that this proposed Community registry, uh-huh. maybe, and a new uh-huh. paragraph. Because uh-huh. uh-huh. you want to put that in there. Uh-huh. Community uh-huh. registry. Uh-huh. Thank you, Carol. You second it. You speak to Patrick. Well, that word community does does differentiate from a private or any other one on there, and then you wouldn't have the endorsement of Fifth District brought into that at all. The uh, next order of business is select standing committees. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the last business meeting, we gave each person that came a card, and we explained that we'd like them to use this card to indicate what committee they would like to serve on, be willing to serve on. We do have a a uh, few back, and as we come to the uh, committees, uh, I will tell you who have indicated their willingness to serve on, on the committee. So. You need another one of these? You gave it to me. I know. I've got plenty. Here's some more. Okay. First 
committed that we have on our list is the bylaws and Mr. S. Lipton was the only one at the meeting the other day who signed that she would uh, be willing to serve on the bylaws committee. The bylaws committee states that uh, the chairman shall be a director and to have at least five members. She stated she was going to resign. I don't know whether, she has. whether that's official or not, but she made the statement Friday that she's going to teach in Mount Sinai. Mm -hmm. So she'll tell Would you that. that. Be, uh, she resigned Friday morning. Irrevocable. Oh, it's already done. Is that Esther Lippman? Mm -hmm. And she'll be leaving right away. I don't know how soon she'll be leaving. She'll she'll leave leave before she could serve her place. Place. It's in either February or March. Leave. But uh, the chairman shall be a director. Mm -hmm. Didn't any of our directors say they were just dying to serve on the bylaws committee? Ms. Uh, Rosecrans and Ms. Gollum have been members of Ms. Ms. Rosecrans would take the chairmanship. She worked closely with Ms. Pope, didn't she? No, she's, she's not a director. director. She's not a director. I I'd rather not be chairman of any committee if you don't mind. I'd be glad to serve on more than I'd rather not be chairman. Should be much to do. I was going to say, does anybody dream that we will have much? to come up in the next year and bylaws, we just pass them. We're straight on structure, aren't we, Carolyn? Or bylaws? Yes, and, and then they'll bring up that. Well, you, you can flex the leadership, but there'll be the next year. That's where we're there. Yeah, yeah that's the FBA. Well, we have just six people. It's one of those six, so. How about Mary Danage? You know, they heard it. She's been She's works, does she? And she's a couple of mm -hmm. I'm not making a scan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other nominations? That or as chairman? As chairman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we need at least four more members. Would you like to know who was on last year? Catherine Pope, Agnes Center, Gladys Garland, Rose McGee, Dorothy Costello, and Marilyn Rosecrans. Maybe you could keep Miss Rose. Let me hush. I promise myself. How about Catherine Pope? Would she? She said, please not this mm -hmm. year because she's so involved with the state. I'm glad she said you'd serve in we don't have as many meetings as we had last year. Or as long. Or as long. I'd like to suggest Ms. Um, Coulter. I don't believe that have as many, Ms. Coulter. Mrs. Coulter. Mrs. Coulter. Will y'all also please, ma'am, give me their sections on that? You've got two, let's see, an NSA on the other She's one. She's administrative uh -huh. section. Anybody from private duty? Well, that's they divorced us, but I don't think we divorced them. Do you think Miss Honey Club for sure? I'll nominate you, Honey Club. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Here's some of your new graduates. You want to put those on there from General Judah Winston. Yeah, put them to work. Right. Anybody yeah. knows them? There's Betty Sue Bailey, Linda Byer, Bobby Colvin, Judy Gaylor, Ellen Hall. So many new members to work, too. And Bobby Coltrane is on our staff now. Oh, she is? Uh-huh. Fulton County Health Now she was a member last year, and uh, she She's had a new graduate, didn't she? Not she. Okay. Um, she plans to be next year, but I talked to her uh, just before I left the hospital. She sure was be there. Oh, Miss Wells has some good ones there. Oh, I'm glad you. She's not a member. We've got our group's going to join 100 cents, they say, the first of the year. So we've got Tommy Marshall, Betty Shields, Louise Parker, and Adrian Ames. Louise we Parker would be real good. Well, you're still talking you about general uh, bylaws. Yeah, if we can get yeah, some anywhere we will. Louise is returning to work now. She may not be a member of the present time, but they are all, you know, waiting for the new forms. I tell you, uh, some of these, um, but we can't appoint them unless they are currently now a member, can we? Because if we could, why well, I'd suggest them. How about your Alberta Ridley? She's on here. That's great. Yeah, she's a good yeah, I don't know her. Uh, she's, she's, she's doesn't work on any of my services, but uh, she's, well, she's she 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 Okay, somebody does. She's been suggested. Who is that? Brenda Hutchison. Down the bottom, St. Louis Square. Down the street bottom. B. Brenda B. Is that Brown? Brenda Brown? Yeah, she's good. Brenda. Brenda, is that Hutchison. Mrs. Hutchison? I couldn't Brenda. think of her maiden name, but I'm sure that's Brenda I'm not Brown. Sure the last one down. She's good. She's a good oh, yeah. student. I think she's there. Oh, it's one extra if you want to put so many people on here. Do you know anybody from occupational health? There's one girl that there was at the convention. What's that girl saying? She's a big girl. Pretty faithful, as well as I'd say somebody that works on the school that might serve if Miss Curd is down at uh, Woodward Academy. Yeah, she, I don't know her first she name. Is. She's a member because she was planning to come to the convention with us. Would that be under public health? Yeah, yeah. What was the last name? I don't know if Curtis. Curtis. Rebecca Curlin's a member. She's uh, occupational. Everybody knows her. I mean, everybody. Lily Pearl Mays, you, you all remember her? She used to work with us. Mm. I see Dr. Tush is 
Wanda Tush. She got tissues. Why? Did mm -hmm. I pay some hair? Mm -hmm. I wonder if she'd have time with her. She's well, good. Won't. Everybody likes him. They they do. He wants another nurse. If anybody knows anybody wants to oh, go. Oh, he just tops as far as all speaks is concerned. Who is that? Dr. Tush. Would you... You've mentioned several people. Are you... No, I just named it just so you all might think. I, 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 I put, I put Miss Curlin down on here. I think you did. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Since we don't have consent to serve, we may end up with five. Would you, would this be all right mm. with each of you? Yes. The head nod. Be mm -hmm. This is going to be the new way of voting. We're going to nod our heads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't tell them, huh? I That's right. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh. remiss. I didn't say. I was just getting consent. <laughs> Uh, our next uh, committee is Ethical, Legal, and Professional Standards. Nine members, each occupational sub section having a representative of the committee on practice. Could we make that simpler by having the chairman of their respective groups on that? It's going to be very hard to wait till they decide who they want to Mm -hmm. We wouldn't know who they are. No. What is your wish regarding this? We don't know who the committee on practice is in each of the sections. So we more or less, if we follow what it says here, we more or less have to wait till they decide who their committee on practice is, and they have a representative. Mm -hmm. Right? Am I right? Yeah, that should be good. I'm just reading what's down here. Mm -hmm. Well, I copied okay. it from the bylaws on there, unless you wanted to simplify it like they do on the state sometimes, letting that chairman be their official representative. The chairman or an alternate could be. So we we'll to ask them to submit their representative. Then you would need we three. Have to you need three more. Then you have six sections, and one of the directors has to be chairman. On that, yes. I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh. Yeah. Well, I thought I had gotten them all down on Which that. Which of you, director? Yes, chairman or director. That's right, chairman or director. I just didn't copy my own writing. You're right. See, I'm. I'm, I'm and then trying to get it. I probably was interrupted on that. Another director. Well, I'm at Miss Wells. Yeah, Miss Wells. Miss Wells, I promised to serve a lot on the program committee. This is a great need. This is a director needs to be a chairman. You have to be a chairman or something. Couldn't you serve in two places? <laughs> um, this is ethical legal. Well, I um, wouldn't have any very clear, concise way about uh, the organization of it and how they, what the purpose of it uh, would be. So, um, if somebody <laughs> would give me some leads as to what is intended for this particular thing. Mm -hmm. What we would expect to accomplish. We 
Ms. Mary Whitty, Chairman, is that the same we talked about last year? Committee on Professional Practice. Uh, I guess, but see the I last think so, year. It's the name. Part of it, but they've expanded it a good bit to include other functions. Other functions. Read section four of your new bylaws, Article 12. Several things to go. Well, these will be old. I got about 400 of these. He'll print us the new ones for $29 so we can get them all corrected. The Article 12, Section 4. Section 4. They have had a few meetings in the past, uh, but it had to do more with state board and professional conduct. They I mean, just wouldn't have met in regards to one of the doctors you remember giving. Since they did, they this could be more than that. It wasn't yes. what set up in the state by yeah, law. Much more. Well, I'm a chairman of that one for next year in the state. I know they sent me a whole lot of material already. You also chairman of the membership committee, state yes. and local. No. First, state. first vice president? Not, mm -mm. I'm not first, first vice president in state. Aren't you? No. I thought you said that. No. Just a director. Yeah. I think what you were. <laughs> 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 Not first vice president. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Bernie Stixon is first vice president. She was elected. Jean Lebkick was first vice president, and and Jean and Bernie swore on the ballot, and Jean got four hundred something votes, and Bernie's got eight hundred. Knowing you like we do, we know you find out. <laughs> Did we have well, anybody volunteer? The quality, quality of nursing <laughs> service within the district and make recommendations concerning the improvement of nursing service in accordance with its findings. Thank you. 
public health. Yeah. She has been uh, on leave, but she's coming back. Mm -hmm. She's she was on before too. So she Is Joy Bradley a member? Mm -hmm. I nominate Joy Bradley. Do you all, all know that uh, Mrs. Thurman, our attorney, is Joy's sister? No, I have not. I'm going to get some legal. Yeah, yeah, she really she sure is good. Anybody else? No, she is. No, she's teaching. She's teaching. She's teaching. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, she's director yeah, of the degree oh, program. Yeah. She's she 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 a teacher. Yeah, she's a teacher. Since our new bylaw stayed on there, they may serve two terms. Would we have permission if we couldn't fill them with all the people you name and everybody else that we'd be given the privilege of getting them from the old committee to serve to finish them out? Well, that's at the end if they won't make that type of yeah. Since we did say they may serve two years, mm -hmm. and any other nominations for ethical legal professional standards? Right now we have the, if everybody agrees to serve, we have nine as required, but if somebody decides they can't serve, we uh, will need a couple of extra ones. Well, who have you got? I've just written down. We have Mrs. Sure. Wells. Miss Wells and Miss Parker and Joy Bradley. Bradley, besides the six that are oh, from section. section. No, from section. Six, six sections. Each section has to put tonight the new bylaws. That means nine. Yes, Joy Bradley. Yes, Miss Wells. Yes, Miss Parker. Yes, Miss Parker. And we won't know who they are until they're appointed. But it'll be the chairman of their. All representatives. But we could use that in printing up our things and go ahead and complete this, couldn't we? Until we find out so you'd have something in January to go on. Anybody else are you going to uh, have any nominations? Or shall we cross our fingers with these nine? Yeah. Well, Ms. Uh, Lot is speaking that Ms. Parker will, and I, I imagine that Ms. Bradley will. All those in favor of these three people, really, plus the sixth, whose name we do not know. Uh, all those in favor that these be elected to the Committee on Ethical, Legal, and Professional Standards, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. The three are, plus the six are elected. The next committee is finance, and we have uh, two people who have consented to serve on the finance committee, and one consented to serve as chairman. This is Christine Monk. Uh, she's out at uh, South Fulton. M O N K. M O N K. And Margaret Hasty. So uh, Margaret Hasty is public chairman. And I'd like to suggest Ms. Whitcomb. She will be. Sister Christian's automatically on the engine. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Whit comes. Whit comes. Do you know her first name? Uh, Margaret. Margaret. She declined some, but this wouldn't have to meet but once or twice a year. Um, that is, unless we're getting some real difficulty. Things. She just promised to let me. Did she? Good. She didn't specify one. Well, then we are assured that these three will serve since they've all given their consent. Miss May said she'd so be glad to serve on if y'all wanted to, but not as chairman, at least any time. 
Christine Mar and and then uh, Christine Mar Margaret Hayes and Margaret Whitcomb. Um, and then Sister Kristen will be on there. Do you wish to uh, nominate more? All those in favor of electing Ms. Christine Mark, Margaret, Ms. Margaret Hasty, Ms. Margaret Whitcomb to the Committee on Finance, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. This is no. Christian's chairman. Christian's chairman. We don't no. have to elect her. Uh, I'll elect the chairman, then. No, no. Unless you elect us, though. Ms. Monk said she would be, She's yeah. She's consented to serve as chairman. Well, let's chairman. let her be. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Yeah. 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 Is she going to be an alternate? Because you only have three. This is one that doesn't say at least. This yes, committee is Oh, including the treasurer. Including mm -hmm. the treasurer. Oh, I'm sorry. I messed up. Did Miss Whitman didn't say what committee did she? Mm -hmm. She didn't say what committee. Whitman would serve on anything. Well, we could would you it. be willing for us to put her on another committee then? next committee is legislation. The chairman should be a director and the committee should be at least five members. We had Ms. Lane, Dorothy Barfield, Diana Cumlin, Mary Colquitt, and Esther Nugent last year. The chairman, let's, if we can, let's take care of the chairman first. Is Jackie Gray still on the board? Mm -hmm. Yes, she's supposed to. She don't come to a meeting half the time. Yeah, she's number one last year. Who's the director? She, she got, I've got 67, 68, but that's all I have. Well, that's old, though. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I like well, Nick, Nick Carroll Whitten here. I have one little one. Give y'all some of you. I guess you need to make me. I guess, you I guess it's me. not old. I'm sorry. Sister Louis Mary resigned. We never replaced her, did we? No. And then we have Graves and Stanley and Gamage and Garland and Hopper. Stan right. Stanley's there. Mm -hmm. Where is Stanley? She's who, she ta who took her place? Oh, Miss Wells. Mm -hmm. Oh. Are the others okay? Is Hopper still on? Gamage, Garland, Hopper, Graves, Rittenhouse, and, and where are they? Who's place at Rittenhouse today? Well, this year I guess you'd be instead of Sister Lewis Mary, see, we put him Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I think I have all of those new ones. Mm -hmm. And she Jacqueline Graves. Jacqueline Graves was re-elected. Let's hear some new, new ones for you and Miss Wells. Whoever y'all are looking at those old ones. Mm -hmm. I didn't make too many because I knew that Miss Honeycutt would come off and Miss Bussy will come off by next time if they elect the chairman mm -hmm. on December the fourth. Yeah, I nominate uh, Jackie Graves, chairman of the legislation. We got two. Oh, you do? Who's those? Excuse me, I withdraw. No, I didn't hear that. Well, how did you hear that? I'm sorry, because I didn't know who was I don't really want to. Carolyn Wayne. You have to be, though. Or something. I know. Which one you want? Jackie Graves. What's next? Congratulations, no. She'd be good one in Either one. Mm -hmm. Either one. I'm going to put, who was it? Miss Harper. 
Well, I didn't hear this other motion. I would draw mine. Carol didn't really want it. I don't really want it. We just came to the house and had it. Put Jackie in there. Put Jackie in there. Jackie in there. Jackie in there. and Terrence sitting here beside me. I'm trying to think what I'm supposed to do. Ms. Garland withdrew, but yes. Ms. Carol said she'd rather not. So we are oh, okay. predicament as to um, whether we let Ms. Garland withdraw her name or whether we listen to Carol. Cool. I'll let y'all worry about that one. <laughs> Carol, Carol, <laughs> what you take when most of them, most of the directors are going to have to take some damage. Would you rather be on public relations as chairman? No, I'll take no discussion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got to go and it's all right. Sure, I would too. Okay. <laughs> now we need some more members. Um, now, Carol is, is um, chairman of the legislation. Oh, go ahead. No, I'm not Bobby Coltrane. Who is on last? Dorothy Barkey. 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 Dorothy Barkey.
part of that legislation. Put cold rain on membership mm -hmm. and then take that take, take off. off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's uh, NSA section. Bobby, who now? Bobby Riley. Isn't Ruth Smith NSA? Mm hmm. She is. What is Tumblr? What is Tumblr? NSA. We all sort of tend to think of our friends. <laughs> what about Margaret Lloyd? Mm -hmm. Margaret Lloyd. What is she? Well, we were trying to get rid of the administrative public health. I bet it's the Nugent who's on the way. I think she's going to help. Where is Mayor Hall? Where is it? Where is the nomination? Mayor Hall. Mayor Hall's in the Nugent. She's not a member. She 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 no, no, no. It was Coltrane. She was on she's uh, on uh, Mary Hall's in the Mary Hall's in the She's gone. Mary Hall's working on her office. She was at the convention. She wasn't on the program. No, I thought she was the Emory. Yeah, she was the Emory graduate. Yeah, she's on the Emory graduate. Oh, was she in that? Yeah, she was. She probably should have a private duty nurse on the Let's put Stedman on. We've got EACT, Margaret Lord. Well, Did Ms. y'all put her down? Is she Margaret a member? Margaret coming to the board. Hmm? Margaret Lord? Ford. Ford? Oh, I thought you said Lord. I thought you did too. What was it? Ford? I think I did. You did say Lord. Who we all heard about? Well, legislation. I was thinking legislation. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Margaret Ford. She's directing nursing and I can't Well, that's NSA. Uh, isn't she a director? Uh -huh. yeah. And the uh, director, Cab General. Mm -hmm. she been? She's been NSA and does administrative. Yeah, she did. Well, yeah, it, uh, NSA is administrative. Well, that's what I said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of new instructors out at Emory. Um, what? Oh, they'd be public health, though. Those two girls that came to us, wouldn't they? Bobby Harris surely did send us a good report. Did y'all see the little thing they got our Communicable Disease Center to send out for yeah. them for their mm -hmm. first meeting? They've done a lot of work on it to, to get it. She would probably be a very good one. Or I have to only talk to her over the telephone. Do you know Miss Wells? Who's Barbara that? Harris? Oh, she I know Barbara Harris. Mm -hmm. She's got some very nice minutes in today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're on legislative mm -hmm. committee still. Uh -huh. You're going to leave it this time. Though. Nominate Barbara Harris down here. Miss Wells did. Well, Barbara Harris. She's placed in Margaret. Is Margaret Ford staying? No. Mm -hmm. No. In place of Margaret Ford? She's going to leave. Well, who is on the, the legislation committee for my benefit? Rittenhouse, Barfield, yeah. Ruth Smith, Tumlin, and Harris. Ford. Ford. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you take Margaret Ford off? Yeah. Took Margaret Ford off. Barbara Ford. Harris and Essie Nugent. We the name Essie Nugent? We'll get through so mm -hmm. we'll all She's be sure fresh. that we have them on the table. You got Essie Nugent? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Well, she's good. She's a real nice person. I believe we have six names left after all the changing. Uh, that gives us just a leeway of one in case somebody refuses to serve. Uh, is Alda Ditchfield, would she serve on some of these? Mm -hmm. No. I, I okay. wouldn't want you now. Right? I don't think so. Is that too much? Okay. That's so much. Okay. Well, we need a private duty uh, nurse on here. Yeah, we sure do. Need a private duty nurse? Let's put Miss Stedman on. Well, we but should, but she, she would be on this, though. 
ethical legal profession by Jane. Oh yeah, that's right. She'd be up for you. Uh, I nominate her. Lois Norton. Lois Norton. 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 Norton
I was just saying we all had some. Oh. I know I'm like Delora Lines. She's a good private duty nurse. What's your name? Uh-huh. Yeah. Delora Lines. It's D E L O R A and L Y O N S. She's good. Delora Lines. That's how we're going to get her to get 400 private duty nurses to be back in. Okay. We have 10. I got 11. Pauline English, Bobby Coltrane, Margaret Whitcomb, Sister Patricia Fable, Glenda Gale Smith, Marilyn Rosecrans, Dorothy Wood, Delore Miller, Inez Stanley, and Delore Lyons. Adrienne was someone who She was public health. And y'all took a damn and put her on. Uh, is this Campion, um, she's uh, educational section. Is she a 5th district member? She would be a right what, new member. What's the name? Campion. C-A-M-P-I-O-N. Never heard it. I don't believe she is. Mm-hmm. What about mm-hmm. Sullivan? Sullivan? Well, now that I don't know. Well, that, that would be more familiar, but I know I've never heard that name. Think of one or two more. So, uh, well, Merle um, had some public health. Could you want to have some? Oh, we already have ten. And in reading this, it says the chairman is the first vice president, and then five or more representing various mm-hmm. occupational groups. And we have ten. Mm-hmm. Well, we need ten. You need mm-hmm. a lot. Let's have a couple more. If they'll all, if they'll all serve now. Oh, I wasn't I, trying to cut it down. Just try to get another pound of gin. One reason, I, I'm, I'm, I will hush with this one statement. What we did and have been doing and probably will need a little bit more so in doing is try to have enough to cover the major hospitals to let one be responsible for it. Well, the chairman could set this up. But well, you can mm-hmm. have the chairman committee this. I think mm-hmm. it's good to have them from the hospitals and from the agencies. We haven't got anybody from DNA on here. Yes, Delora Miller. Oh, well, Miss Chastain has been pretty good so about it. Seems that. Maybe mm-hmm. she'll be able to see if she'll be able to have a big committee. Mary, uh, the 13th district. I don't know. What is her first name? Chastain. Yes, yeah. She's a member. Of our group. Mm-hmm. She'd be good. Yeah. Yes. May I tell you one reason they just put this five or more down here and then when you said it? Because if you put 15 names down here, eight of them are going to have to be at a meeting for mm-hmm. it to be a legal meeting. Well, you I, see, was all just, the committee. I was not thinking of that, but I'm thinking if we're trying to get numbers, well, they ought to come, of course. Well, couldn't you have some subcommittees? This, this, this committee mm-hmm. could assign mm-hmm. their, a person at each hospital yeah. if they wanted to, mm-hmm. but it would not be considered as a actual committee, actual mm-hmm. committee member. You see, the count, have to count the court. Well, my staff has never been a member. We have 43 out there, and I'm afraid that I'm not going to get them in unless we can you know, get some of them on this. Mm-hmm. Who was the girl that called for all your materials out there? Adrian. Is that Adrian. it? Someone called and said they were really What's going all out. Oh, yeah, I know Adrian. Chastain Tower. Well, they must take Chastain off and put Adrian in for you all. I would withdraw her name. I, I believe she was suggested because she represented Well, who is, is Bobby oh. Cole? Well, B and A, all of them have to belong. All, everybody at BNA belongs anyway, they have to. Why can't Bobby be put on something else than Adrian? So she is from another county. Bobby Coltrane? Mm-hmm. She's another, she's full for them. We've already got a full for them there. Who? Yeah, Bobby Coltrane. Ms. Ingram. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby. Oh, Ms. Ingram. 
I'm Brother Health and Bob. You used I to let Bobby be the chairman and take me off. <laughs> this is beautiful. Sadly, it's saying that name. Now, where are we? Would you want to take Bobby Coltrane off since I'm public here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have to speak your words? Well, that's one. what they said. I don't have to. No, according to me, I don't have to. Yeah, I think you do. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to take Bobby and we'll put Adrian in. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. I see what you mean about the same county. Mm -hmm. I think this would be good with really. Of course, I'd like to have somebody from every hospital. Well, you could do subcommittee. Yeah. Oh, uh, to move along, all those of them in favor of electing Adrian Ames, Margaret Whitcomb, Sister Patricia Fable, Glenda Gale Smith, Marilyn Rosecrans, Dorothy Wood, Deloria Miller, Annette Stanley, Delore Lyons, Castine Howell, to the Committee on Membership Promotion, please say aye. Uh, opposed, no. Okay. The Committee on Nominations, the elected chairman is Ms. Myra Mann. Um, what section she in? And I think she's in it. They I know Ms. Charlotte Sachs. Charlotte has indicated a no. uh, willingness to serve on another committee. Oh, has she fired? Do you I have anybody else have it serving on that? How about Coltrane on this? Okay. Before that Coltrane, we moved to three times. Uh, right. Now listen, I think we should keep up with it, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Poor little. Right. <laughs> She's flexible. Yeah, yeah. public health. <laughs> You had Sister Lewis, Mary, Jacqueline Briggs, Myra Mann, Frances Bussey. I don't believe she went to the, the meeting. And um, Madeline Wade and uh, Isma Stack. She was the private duty nurse on that one. Did we put Margaret Fuller on anything? Uh-uh. Uh, have that Margaret Fuller on this I see some new people over here on this slip that might consider. Wouldn't you like to nominate some of them? Where do we have um, Miss Bernie Stouter from Holy Family? I don't know her, but she's from general duty, but she's a new person. Dorothy Brawley was the real good. Dorothy, who's Brawley? Do you, in what section? Uh, she's working as a volunteer with Red Cross. She's out in DeKalb County. She's not, she's not employed. Uh, she just works in the doctor's office, in her husband's office, Dr. Brawley. I think she came in as an associate on that. If, oh, yeah, and let's let can have an associate. And I don't believe he didn't have on that one, but I think she's been willing to work on some of the others. Yeah. Um, I'm is, uh, last year, wasn't Yes, I'm. She's um, quiet. Person. I don't know what she's there on tomorrow. Who is that? Isla Stack. She's a very nice person. Yeah. She is a nice person. Well, I nominated. <laughs> <laughs> Isla Stack. I think like she's been in the face before. She's oh, a private duty. Private duty. Um, I don't know Evangeline Lane. What section? That's the nomination. She's EACT. What about occupational health? Have you put that girl? Oh, uh, Mackenzie, Virgin Mackenzie. Oh, I can't remember. 
do we have any nominations for my uh, occupational health? There's a new girl out at um, at McCall's, you know, Foot and Davies, what used to be Foot and Davies, mm -hmm. and she is a member of the of the occupational health section, and I believe we should really. Um, I think she's willing to to be a member and to work as a member, and she's new here. Is what I'm trying to say. You know, do you know what her name is? Um, I don't know either. I don't know till in where they work. You know, I don't pay them. If you get the list we got on the back of uh, you know the nomination sheet, the new graduates that. That's where some of them are getting in, so I'm in the rest of the Is one of our new graduates? Is she, is she on no, there? No, she isn't a new graduate. She's just new to Atlanta. Oh, how about new those credential people we passed on last time? I think I brought that with me. Um, how would Agnes Center be from private duty group? Is she? We need somebody. She is with this group that's forming a register. Well, she would be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've got Miss Spax. Oh, yeah. you need him. Yes, you need him. I look to these private duty people, and I'm sick of this deep in this book hard of him. I know. We have all a stack from private duty. Oh, excuse me, on the nomination. You need oh. a general duty one on that one. Well, we've got some new people here in general duty. So we do have Judy Payne on is it, um, these are the new people we accepted last time on credentials. Somebody do you all have Judith Payne? No, who's she? South Fork and General Judith P. Mount Hospital. Judith Payne. She's new. Okay. Judith Payne. I was thinking maybe Miss. Is this um, still nominated? Miss Armstrong, you might, she might be on this list mm -hmm. that we accepted last time, you think? Applications for membership? No, she's a member of Oh. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned it because I don't know. Three, four, five, six. She has seven. Oh, did you see that? Yes, see. I'm That's still in the second circuit. Somebody did. Mild Man, Bobby Coltrane, Margaret Ford, Sachs, Evangeline Lane, Virgin McKenzie, Judith Payne. Where did you McKenzie? But we want to have one or two <coughs> extra, shouldn't we? Oh, who is Virgin McKenzie? Never heard of her. She's she, uh, And she's been wherever she is for a good long while. Oh, she's with that refrigerating place that gave the boys camp over there. The, uh, you know, the wood all no. Anyhow, they 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 give them. Oh, right over in this area here towards. Yeah. Uh, the calf. Can't think of it right now, but anyhow, they've given they've given camps for the boys every year. She's very active and has always been a, a willing worker. Could we have an extra two? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't want an NSA number, do you? Have we we have, uh, we have one and two, two NSAs. Do um, you know Alberta Ridley? Do we? Yeah. No, no, no. I'd like to know if there's an alpha Miss Woods in there. Kathy Woods in there. She's one of the new ones, then yeah, it's a new graduate. I'd like to see her again. Yeah, What's her name? Wood Cassie Wood in WWDF. If I was not nominated at the end, how could I nominate her again? Because I really think. How much do you say? For another 
could we lose all of these that have been numb at the end of it? That all of these that have yeah. been numb as seven all the members. Seven members. He just wants them all to get in here. Then yeah. turn it down. But you only have seven members of this committee. Mm -hmm. I mean, couldn't they, couldn't they pass it to any of those be used to to uh, at all? Named as alternate. No, because that be it. You do it and not them. Oh, well, I don't want it then. <laughs> <laughs> don't want it. So give us a no. <laughs> Did you take Kathy off? No, she. I don't know. No, I don't mm -mm. think. See, she will, she will not be asked to go on this unless somebody's there. Right, right. so she's been off. And then we can't do it. Well, see, you can nominate her. What did you say? Take her off. Viva. Okay. Can we have at least one more alternate? Who's on um, Joy Bradley's faculty? Is this Blake? Carl? This Betty Blake? Does anybody know? Betty Blake. Grady. 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 She's, she's in the education. Oh, she's at Grady. Well, why would we put her? We, it's an alternate. Betty Blake, we only got one. Is she a member? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. She's a member. of electing Bobby Coltrane, Margaret Ford, Isla Stack, Vangela Lane, Judith Payne, Virgie McKenzie, Kathy, uh, with Kathy Woodson and Betty Blake as alternates. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Number seven, emergency health preparedness and national defense. At least three members, chairman. We had Alice Wood, Mary Stodgill, Evelyn Rowe, and Catherine Pope on that committee last year. Alice Bud's chairman of the state, so state committee. She might have too much to do. If she could, she could ask her. <laughs> Some folks don't mind. Sir. She wrote on her card that she just couldn't. I'd like to nominate Kathy Carney Seymour. She's public health. These others are. C R N I S E Y M O U R. I'm not giving them the names. I want my mom to know it. Yeah, I'm M-O-U-R. Any further nominations? I know who you're talking about now. Mm -hmm. uh, how about an alternate? Is that Miss Rowe? Did she do it? Miss Evelyn Rowe that was on last year as an alternate? Did she need it? Who she is, who she said last Master program. Uh, she, she teaches, doesn't she? She's in physical medicine at Grady. Well, she'd be good then. Yeah, physical I'm medicine. Okay. She wouldn't be. Evelyn Rowe. 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 Evelyn in favor of electing Ms. Alice Bud Chairman, members Mary Stodgill, Kearney Seymour, 
alternate Miss Evelyn Rowe, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. No. Now we come to programs, and Ms. Merle Live is chairman. Uh, Charlotte Sachs asked to, I mean, said she would be interested in serving on the program committee. I nominate her. And I believe Ms. Wells wanted to serve. Charity Ms. Wells. Cynthia Mauer. That's good. We ought to get her working. Who now? Shirley, Shirley Bradley. Bradley. Who's the same Oh, uh, Mary Suzanne Bennett was on last year, and she finally so came to one meeting. In that oh, area. We could she looks as if she'd be a good work. work. We got it. Mm -hmm. The little Bennett girl that went to the meeting mm -hmm. the other day, the program committee meeting out at your place. Mm -hmm. I was thinking somebody from the hospital, Bennett, Mary, Woody, uh, Mary uh, Susan yeah. Bennett. Yeah. Put her down. Do you nominate her work? Mary yeah. Woody's yeah. been nominated. That would be uh, Mary, Mary Woody. Charlotte Sachs. Shirley Mary Woody. didn't sign the card the other day, and she told me. What did she say? But she did live, she it did not state. sign one of these cards, and she was present. But she has taken on such a tremendous yeah. responsibility. Mm -hmm. How about Hale? She's not only the rest of nursing service. Miss Hale is the chiefest of Marion Hale. Hale. Marion Hale said of Woody. I bet Marion Hale won't take it because she's got the headquarters committee. Yeah, she has the name. She just got a um, Margaret Shaler has done, I yeah, think Margaret Shaler has too. done a good job mm -hmm. for yeah. us this year. I just draw Ms. Hale. Margaret Shaler, remember? I don't I, uh, uh, isn't she? I don't remember whether she is or not. Oh, How I do you spell it? S-C-H-A-L-L-E-R. -E I don't remember her being, ever being there. I don't remember the name. Well. But I don't say she's not there because I don't remember her I don't remember her I have yeah. never, I have talked to yeah. her every day, and I've never known her to say she wasn't a member before. I, did, I just didn't see who she was. You know, so many members do not attend the meeting. Uh -huh. I've never seen her. Carolyn, is she not a member? I don't recall her name, but I do not know them all. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember them all. What, what uh, section would she be in? She's in the yes, she she she's section. She's a member. She's so I thought she was. She was about premature nursery. Yeah, I know. And she's yes, done a real good she's job on that. Um, she's, um, uh, she's in chairman of the. She's in chairman of of um, our committee this year. S I'd like to nominate Esther Pierce. Well, did we accept the Margaret Taylor? Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I took Miss like Woody's name off to uh, believe Miss Woody. Rachel Fander Saunders. She's in general duty now. She was, you know, uh, head of the office nurse group and then went into occupational health and then in the operating room. Uh -huh. And then she put herself in general duty at that time. I think that's what she's still in. Thanks, Brandon, Tim, Sheila. Well, did y'all keep yeah. Susan Bennett? Uh, we have Su Mary Susan Bennett and uh, she, Rachel she Saunders. Some interest the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and so did either we have one. nine names here. If, if, if you need a private, no, I don't. Let me get. We have uh, Sheila uh, of course, Merle is chairman. Charlotte Sachs. You want uh, are there further nominations? We'll read them all, Marty, so we'll have them. All right. Merle is chairman. Charlotte Sachs. Uh, Charity Wells. Shirley Bradley. Shayla. Margaret Shayla. Mary Susan Bennett. Esther Pierce. Rachel Saunders. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that. I've lost them too. Rachel Saunders. Oh yeah, I remember her too. 
Do you have nine? I have ten. No, I have nine. She usually got left out. She's She's out of ten right now. Are there further nominations? Uh, I, I, I nominate Annie Laurie Crawford. What is her last name? Crawford. Uh, Annie Crawford. Laurie Crawford. C R A W S O R D Crawford. I'm wondering uh, about the composition of this, though. I think we've got. Uh, got two more PACT? Well, Merle is public health. Charlotte is what? PACT. PACT. And Mallory is. Miss Wells is NSA. Mm -hmm. And Shirley is what? NSA. NSA. Shelley, who? Bradley. Bradley. And Margaret Shayla is? NSA. She's going to get lost in the hospital. Mary Susan Bennett is what? She's over at She's Charlotte. NSA now. She was general duty up, up on the call list that happened to this recently. And Esther Pierce could, okay. if we want to change from private, she's occupational group of uh, mental health, isn't she? Mm -hmm. She's in the public health section. Esther? She's out. So she's out. Yeah, I know who you're talking about, but she, and she also is well, done making a difference. She could be representing the psychiatric conference group. Who is Rachel Sanders? Occupational. She, she used to be Dr. No, no, she's not now. But she, she's at the Emory now. Mm -hmm. She's general duty, I think. I forget. Um, what is she want somebody from private duty? That Eva Wood from duty. private duty that you had that was indicated that she was occupational health. Well, she didn't come last year. She went to the wrong place. She went to the Buckhead Clinic instead of the. Yeah, but she had more opportunities than that. I said. Oh, you meant I meant the last one. Yes. All of everyone. She did, She was not active. You have somebody you'd like to have on that mall? This is fine. I haven't got a speaker for this next committee, next uh, program. I thought we had a panel. We haven't said it up yet. We talked about it. Oh. I had to wait to get these people for us to do it. Are there further nominations from the committee on the program? When are you going to have Dr. Lane day? Um, all those in favor of electing Charlotte Sachs, Charity Wells, Shirley Bradley, Margaret Sheila, Mayor, Mayor Susan Bennett, Esther Pierce, Rachel Saunders, Cynthia Mallory, and Alan Laurie Crawford. All those in favor, please say aye. Mm -hmm. Aye. Opposed, no. Ms. Carrie. Public relations. Um, we have two people who said they would like to serve on the public relations committee Marilyn Rosecrans and Dorothy. Would you think that's Foster? Foster? I think it's Foster, Dorothy Foster. Let me see if I can make it out. I'll <coughs> he looks like Foster, but it's quite a signal to him. Tommy Marshall. I don't recognize it at all. You could even have it almost Porter. There's a P-O-S in your postman. I bet that's what it is. Mm -hmm. No, that's a T. Is it? Has it got a T? You have to get one of the secretary. Miss Wallace has to be on it. And somebody from the to include the secretary of the district. 
Yes. Well, that's that's Miss Wallace. That's uh, what I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. I hope y'all get a good chairman because, well, regardless of having one, I've had to do this for more than 20 years. How about this rose crown? I don't think it'd be a good idea to let somebody else do it. I do. Too. Would she take the chairmanship, you think? Rose Who? crown? I believe I she think she'd be a good one. Okay. You know what I think? Oh, Carolyn, I'm going to put Dorothy, wait a minute, I don't know. Does somebody recommend this name when we figure <laughs> out what it is? So do, yes. Dorothy Foster. Dorothy Foster. I think it's Dorothy Foster. Oh. I'm trying to find, you don't Maybe know what you have Yeah, I'm going to give her a card to you. I'll try to, try to. I'll, I'll find, so maybe I can find a check. No, she would have renewed through the other group in there. Like P O S T E N, post office. I think maybe we can. A little question mark. We'll find out. Put Tommy Marshall down. Tommy Marshall? Oh, what is she? What's that? Perfect girl. Perfect girl. Miss Wells, chairman of um, Ethical Legal Professionals. Maybe she'll be on this place. <laughs> Isn't she already on another one? She can't be on three. She's on the program one. Oh, well, I don't know. I bet she can. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, huh? And the past people have been on that. Too. I know. We had one of them on five, but we made a new ruling back then. Our rules have been, you know, not served on more than two committees. Well, you gotta have somebody in that committee. You gotta have someone that can, mm -hmm. that can keep them going. Well, did you all suggest this for other plans for the chairman? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have two names, but they're both NSA uh, members, and I think. Uh, Who are they? Matt. How about that? Uh, one from Moya, NSA. Yeah. I might put Kathy Wilson over there. I'm standing up publicly. Well, I wonder if Dorothy Costello, who she is, and she's in this age. But you know, she's she's really be good in this. She, uh, who are y'all nominating here? I've gotten Rosa Cran, Miss Wallace, Tommy Marshall. Who else has been nominated? Mary Wallace. And that Dorothy Foster. Oh, you you one that you had down there. Mm -hmm. I can't find her. Listen, Mary Gamage is in the one that's done all of this on this public relations. Let's um, put on. Let's she, put her she did it last year, you well, know, on Don and um. And Mary Cox, we did a marvelous job with that exhibit we had on Nurse Week on that, if y'all are interested in having her. Mm -hmm. you know, she had that exhibit down there on Nurse Day and had about 500 visitors down there. Mm -hmm. Who was that? Did yeah. that? Mary she's Cox. not here anymore, sister? Mary Cox is not in 5th District anymore. Oh, she's not? Mm -hmm. yeah, she's she married and, uh, well, she probably just letting it run out. She lives, what, in Covington or something? No, no, no. no. We, we didn't yeah. know it and hadn't had a change of address for anything. He was a lawyer, I think. I nominate Carolyn Atkins to serve those. Well, I'll help with them on that if you want me to. Okay. Thank you, Carolyn. Or you want me to put put my name on that? Yeah, I don't nominate you. I wonder if Miss, um, I don't know if she's done, she's uh, done so Joyce Bradley would, um, serve on that. Well, she, but you have to have one from that committee. Joyce Bradley. You have to have one from the Carolyn, yeah, who's that new chairman of the ACT section that's on Joyce Bradley? Mildred Burns. Yeah, now she's really up and going. I know I hate Burns. How about Lydia McKee? She's retired, man. She's 
Lydia McKee is not a member. Oh, really? I don't believe she is. I, I don't think she is. I think she let it expire this past time. Is George, which George one you've got to pick George Bradley from me? I think Miss Wells said George Bradley. Oh, well, she's just on one other committee, and we need somebody from there. Okay. Uh, Effort for professional standards. I don't think she's a member. I would. I. You want me to put her down here in case she is, or, or as all the, No, she's Lydia McKee. Oh, excuse me. Well, I think she did say she had Lydia Brown. I think so. I have seven. Do y'all have more? Mm -hmm. I've got eight. 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 Well, eight. I took off Lydia. Marilyn, when I have was that oh. Marilyn Rosecrans, Cal, Joy Bradley, Mary Wallace, Doris Foster, Tommy oh. Marshall, Kathy Woodson, Carolyn Atkins, Mildred Byrne. Dorothy Foster, the one I need to know whoever. Are we giving her that name, of course? Does she? I can't find her in the book. Uh, any other nominations? <laughs> probably wouldn't, but I think that this should be another thing for them to fuss about if we don't talk mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we don't ask them. Talk about privacy. Is there a member? Who is there? Make down. Is your private duty? Public. Uh, yeah, private duty. Mm -hmm. I think we have a make down. Mm -hmm. Right now, I can't. I, I'm not as familiar with the name enough, enough to say. McGowan. McGowan. McGowan may have moved to Florida. She said she's so unhappy about not having the register. She's going away. She know where she. What about Phyllis Bonner? I thought about her. She's so kind of. Jean Alford. Jean Alford has been active in yeah. this and was on the um, public public relations committee. I once. think she'd be more acceptable to them. I mean Bonner's good, but she's quiet and yeah. she doesn't get in with them. Well, we put Jean Alford on. I think we need somebody on it. They don't mm -hmm. know. Which one? Public relations? Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, she served on it one time. You know, she, the side dad was a good friend of hers. Yeah, I think that'd be a good move. One of the general lab. That daughter's buddy around the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's good. Yeah. Well, I think that would be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, All those in favor of electing Marilyn Rosecrans Chairman, Joy Bradley, Mary Wallace, mm -hmm. Doris Foster, Jean Alford, Tommy Marshall, Kathy Woodson, Carolyn Atkins, Reverend Burns, to the Committee on Public Relations, please say aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. Rose, no. You have representatives on the end of that last year saying that they want to go ahead and slide on to you on, on, on your last year's um, list there. You had representatives to the community council. I've got it here somewhere with me. And I think you have two. Oh. On our last year's committee. Here they are. Uh, you, you have representatives of community council of the Atlanta area and the EOA Gladys Garland, representative to the service committee, 
Fulton County Medical Society, Laverne Johnson. Well, Marilyn and I want to stay on the one we were on. Yeah, yeah. that was the uh, regional area-wide mm -hmm. medical. Right. That's, that's what right. y'all went to the other that's day. That's what we sat in all day Friday, and Mer went back Saturday morning, I did. But we want, we'd like to stay we'd on like, that. We'd like we nominate I believe that's uh, the no, point in we'll calm down by <laughs> all <laughs> now. We so we would like, yeah, I would like control. to appoint you Thank to you. this Thank committee. You. Thank you. To be our representative to this committee. That gets real interesting. Now, then. Do you want those other two? Like they are continue those, Mr. Minnesota Community Council and we've got more than that. Yeah, we've got more than that. We have. Well, these are ones we had printed this time last year. They had you the one for the. Oh, they. Mars that came out to be the wall frame. We decided not to do anything about gamepad, right. so that took care of that. If anybody's just dying to get on that model cities thing, I'll be glad yeah. to relinquish it. Yeah, I won't care for that. I think as our president, you ought to go. Maybe you could get one of us to relieve you sometimes, so I would go with you, but I really think you ought to go. Dr. Do Hackney do reports do. on me every time I miss one of those meetings. He'll do it. <laughs> Tell me you read I wish somebody meeting. found out what they're doing. <laughs> well, I think I've got a book for the fifth you like to sit down and that's listen. Hard, that's just doing. a lot of gum. Let's find out really They're planning on planning. Mm -hmm. Well, I know it. Yes, that's they're doing well. it. Planning for planning. I'm so for sick and fed up with no coordination in the health programs. There's not going to be any after the 20th well, of January. they say that yeah. they are. No, oh, health Nixon, programs? Yeah, Nixon's going to throw it all out. I doubt that very soon. Oh. So Fletcher Thompson says. Fletcher Thompson don't know all the answers either. I know Fletcher very well. Ms. Gone, he belongs to my church. Ms. Wade <laughs> would serve on this community council in EOA. I doubt it because she's got so much to say. Uh, well, I'll think about it. Let you know who, who I'm going. Might ask her, but I. Then those were the. Oh, did y'all wish that I would keep on with my city? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. We don't, we insist that we you do. Don't <laughs> too hard, please. <laughs> Area-wide health planning committee, isn't that the name of it? Comprehensive planning? What is it now? No, the, that, the other that? one's comprehensive. Joint, the one that committee Ms. Um, comprehensive health planning. That's the one that Miss. Um, that's the one we went to the other day. Well, I've got there are two different committees, and I think now there's a one community planning council if you need one too, but I like this other one because, you know, the board is really talking about things that are good, and this, but if you just need one, I think the other one. Well, um, I think it'd be nice if you both would remain. Oh, we want to stay on the one we are on. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. That's the Joint Committee on Health Planning. That's right. And, and leave off this area-wide <coughs> comprehensive planning altogether. I'll tell you, let back. me get, let me get this thing now uh -huh. and let you know what it is. No, the name and the... I'm sorry, Ms. Gomes. <laughs> well, I was telling her, I would get her the name yeah. of what this committee is, the official complete title. It's two different committees. The one that, uh, that uh, Oh, I think that Scott is, excuse me, it's not for the minute, is that the Gab Fulton and all of them. Then, um, I believe 
very the next it's getting laid out here and I know you're in the house. Yeah. But the next uh, thing Can you excuse yourself. Will you leave the fire sure you will? Don't go far. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the shoes. <laughs> I move that Ms. Lewis be retained as our parliamentarian. Okay. Council, as you know, that we have had at least the last year uh, is Mrs. Marjorie Thurman, who is a Democratic committee woman for Georgia. She's also Joy Bradley's sister, and she does not charge us for the thing. What is your pleasure? <laughs> oh, yes. I might say she down? is most gracious. Now, we had a hard time getting her right before the election. You could understand that. But uh, we called on Friday and won an appointment this morning, and we got it just like that. So, Thank you. you know, she, she studied nursing. She didn't stay in. But Joy said she left pretty soon after. Well, maybe she'd be at least sympathetic. <laughs> well, you don't have to draw pictures when you're trying to, you know, explain what it is you want. She she has seems to have a quick grasp of uh, um, our problems. Did somebody? I was recording. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we appoint Mrs. Marjorie Thurman as our legal counsel in this discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. Mm -hmm. Opposed, no. We'll ask. And she did indicate today that she'd be happy to serve with us. Uh, we need to appoint a chaplain. Good to have someone on the board. Present chapter be retained. <laughs> With all the money there to do our protection. All those in favor of Sister Kristen being our chaplain, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Oh, the next being the auditors. The firm of two. Say two. Ross. Bailey. They're one of the biggest in the United States. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. But um, they are, and they do give us a special rate for the district. Now, they're expensive with the registry, but that's beyond. I mean, the, in the days gone by. But they do give us a, a, a very liberal. Well, we're going to be retained our present auditors for two straws, Bailey and Smart. Hey, what are you saying? I move that we retain our present orders of Touche, Ross, Bailey, and Smart. Is it Touche or Touche, Carolyn? It's Touche. <laughs> when they answered on the telephone, you, you, you know they're wrong. It, it, I call, I think it's Touche, but it isn't. It's Touche. T 
Yes, that's one we've had the last seven years. Changed now? Well, they you see, it used to. They, they, this man from this firm from all, uh, it's the same one we've had. They bought them out. They went into partnership. The other man's wife died. And it's the same ones we've had since 1960. Mr. Hirsch is with it and uh, Mr. Tillman of the same ones. They've had other changes, but. Uh, uh, something new and uh, and that's to appoint an auditor of an ele election in the new bylaws uh, voting will be by mail so uh, we need to appoint an auditor of election you have you have uh, someone that will do that far should have done. Uh, no, I, I said that I would get about five registered parliamentarians mm -hmm. to count this, and I thought that I could do it very, uh, or not over, I, between 50 and 75 dollars, which would be much cheaper than an auditing firm doing. Ms. Lewis. I think Mr. Mm -hmm. Hamilton even charges the state for no, $200 or something. $200 mm -hmm. and he has an auditing fee on to it. Yeah, somebody want to no, no, She has expenses. We yeah. didn't give her anything to do and she is the director. Okay, huh? Can we nominate somebody plus what she's offering? Is that what no, we have to do? do you, it won't or can you just take care of the you whole have thing? You have or somebody or outside. And, and oh, well, I see. Home. You mean outside, 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 outside person? For an outside oh. uh, person, not right, someone in the organization, organization. You see, for mail ballot. Miss Lewis can be there. Okay, I nominate Miss Lewis then. That's the order. Okay. Yeah, I thought you needed somebody in the membership. And then she can get the house people out. Okay. All righty, yeah, I need she needs to she has to on something. On the programming. Selection's over, and yeah. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> but you can have I can have on the balcony. Yeah. Sure. But we uh, some That's all we got to do. Um. <laughs> Oh, is there a second? It's been moved and seconded that we appoint Mrs. Lewis as our auditor of elections in discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. Opposed, no. Mrs. Lewis has been appointed as auditor of elections. Set the time and place of meetings for January, March, and September. Business meetings, the second Thursday of the above month. May and November meetings, program committee arranges. So you need January the 9th, March the 13th, and September the 11th. Okay. I move that the March 13th meeting be held at DeKalb County. In their new building. Well, um, you hadn't planned one, one of these other meetings at the cab, have you? Okay. Haven't planned anything except the Friendship Dome. We have a spot for that February 14th, but that's not one of these. Issues. And it's hard to get out there, and be out near the DeKalb General Hospital, and I think we could tell people about it. We ought to move in in January. But you know, if something happened, why maybe we couldn't get the building? 
we sure like to have the one time and March I just the, uh, think we ought to be in by then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been moved and seconded that the March meeting be held at the DeKalb County Health Department. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. What is your wish regarding the January and September meeting? We'd be glad to have you here if that's been satisfactory. Satisfactory with everyone present. Thank you. We appreciate the opportunity. What about the time? Now we've been we've been having uh, the time set at 4:30. I think at one time they used to alternate 7:30, 4:30, and. Uh, what is your wish regarding the time of these meetings? I was uh, uh, in a meeting today, and um, there were a good many there. And um, the time of the meeting was discussed, and the feeling of that particular group was that they would prefer a 7.30 meeting. The traffic is just real by it. Uh, late in the afternoon, I mean, you know, 4.30 to 5.30 and 6 and so forth. I know my people would not prefer a 7.30, but you know, faculty I know wouldn't. And um, I think nursing personnel, if you're going to get them, you're not going to get them to come back, I don't think, unless it's something awfully good. And the number of hours we take for these meetings, I think that, you know, I'm not, I mean, Ms. Wells probably speaking from a representative group of some group, but I really don't think that the hours that we take and the kind of people that we try to attract to these, this meeting, I think 730 would be out. That's my um, opinion from experience of dealing with people around here. Well, I tell you from the experience in the office that the girls are afraid to travel at night. Many of them, in, in talking to the office, say that uh, they don't go out unless they have to after dark anymore. Probably not agonized last week, not a soul, not even one man whistled at you. Why? Oh, I'm going to change your head. I'm real disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was wondering if we could have it earlier in the afternoon. You think nobody would come if we say had it uh, three to five? When you said the three people wouldn't get off until three. They couldn't come before four if the morning shift. Does anybody work those oh, hours anymore? Yeah. Seven well, to three. Yeah. General view, that's well, the biggest, a, biggest group. Um, Fifty group to three twenty. You do. I think most you work all morning. <laughs> You're going to have some night meetings well, anyhow on your May uh, and your program meeting. You may in November would probably be at night. I think it might be smart to try three. I don't know because people, most people mm -hmm. get off of meetings. I mean, you can't send everybody, but a representative group from an agency. I don't know about public health now. Yeah, we could go. Uh, I think most little people that are going to come can get off. They get off the other things. So it might not be a bad idea to try it earlier. The only thing is if you set it up for the whole year and it's not a good time, you kind of stop. But it's going to be real hard to do that calendar there if you're having it at different times. Yeah. I think people are so used to that 4.30 on Thursday. I had to to change it. It's <coughs> sort of, you know, like a clock. It's you know, at 4.30 on Thursday. you got to be there. Well, it's 4 o'clock too early. I would Most people that got off at 3 to get there at 4, they give you 30 minutes early. early. I would not oppose it being early. What did you think, Ms. Armstrong? 3 or 3 or 4? I mean, what do you mean by early? Well, I hesitate to say because we are allowed to go to meetings well, on our on duty time. And, uh, well, my faculty is, and nurse and service people, I think, in most hospitals. 
the people that are going to come anyway would probably get off. Mm -hmm. What time would you think that they could get off duty for? Three? I think they got off at three because maybe they're there by four, three thirty or four. Mm -hmm. Most of them. Mm -hmm. I think most all of them are working and it just uh, almost you can get me about four thirty. In what time? Mm -hmm. In the time. About four o'clock. Well, it's only what every other month, you know. I think people could one get one off. Couldn't even you get off if you had to every other month? I'd have a day off. Uh -huh. I oh, you'd have to take your day yes. off. Uh -huh. yeah. sure. But I mean, that's all right. But I'm not thinking about myself. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about the other people that are working. And mm -hmm. uh, they just don't get through, you know. They <laughs> really don't. You can walk off and leave the patients, but I mean, you just can't do that. And that's the time. report time. Yeah. Where would you think of 3.30 to 5? That, as, as far as the group that I'm familiar with, it would still present the same problem. <clears throat> I think 4 is as early as the hospital people could. Well, that'd be 30 minutes or that mm -hmm. have some work. We could try this board and if it didn't work. We've moved the board to board and we've gotten about the same group of people here. I move we hold the meetings at four o'clock. I second the motion. It's been moved and seconded that we set the time of meeting at four PM in further discussion. All those in favor of setting the time of meeting at 4 o'clock, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Okay. Hope you haven't got too many things. No, I think 4 is better because then, then you try to get get through and not be so late in getting in. And then if you've got that lap of getting through at 4, mm -hmm. More people mm -hmm. concerned would make it at four. You're a little bit ahead of the bad traffic at the work car. Now you want to keep your boards at the same time. Fine. Yeah, in this room. Sister, all, all right? Yeah. <laughs> this table. Yeah. We put the doctor's tape tonight. That's okay. This table. You don't have one like this in your room. That's what y'all told me to put it down there so we can take care of that register business. Oh, oh, it came up. Up. <laughs> that was just uh, a bad in case you had any emergencies to take care of or anything you had to plan ahead about trying to get the register on the way back first. Dave, by the way of new business, the state has a, a bond that the people who have to be bonded in our organization could be bonded under the state bond. I think I'm correct in saying that. It's uh, with, uh, you know, Jimmy Henderson who has our insurance. We've already always had someone else. We, no, we have this. He has a comprehensive program with us that takes in everything, $300,000 liability. And we had to change our bond from the fireman's bond to Jimmy's. So all of our insurance are with him, but not with this one particular program that you're yes, talking about. We pay all line. separate, don't we? Um, don't we pay I all separate? So, yeah. uh -huh. so this will be state will come out cheaper. Yeah. It, it would come out cheaper, and then you may want to bond your... And it's the same. Very small, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. uh, do you wish to... Uh, pass this? I might make be four minutes fast. For statement on this, or make any... Uh, do you wish to consider this? All right. You mean, should we make a motion to this? It would be in July when our new, our new program would come up. Well, I think we should investigate it and go in with the state because it'll save us money, yeah. wouldn't it? Who do you, you got the new president that. Too, that, that would come in under that now that hasn't been uh, bonded before, if you like. This won't make any difference, I mean. Mm -hmm. 
they won't, we'd have to pay extra if you had it. But this, Miss Ditchfield explained that this would be much cheaper with the state. She, the figures she gave were real small. I don't want we pay in now, really. We well, used to pay ten dollars, but um, it's it's with a different program now. I mean, and you're going to have one more person to be bonded if you're going to allow us to uh, sign checks there. We, we'd have to make some change anyhow, but our our insurance give, uh, gives out in July if you want to go ahead and ask him to. I believe the motion was made to investigate. Mm -hmm. 